Hey, Dave LaCalle with Head Games Motorworks. Today we are going to flow test that junk EJ25 head that we posted a couple weeks ago. This thing is a disaster and everyone know, everybody wanted to know what does that thing flow? Well, today we're going to flow test it against a bone stock head so we can tell the difference. Check it out. For valves, we have one millimeter oversized GSC valves. Uh, the head actually wasn't valve jobbed for them on the exhaust side. It was on the intake, but this is how it came. So first off guys, know that we don't normally work on just black benches that are carts. It's just easier for the video to, to do it like this because well, it's a working shop. So we, how to make our own little area. All right, so here's a nifty tool that I'm using. I'm using, uh, so it goes together like this normally. So if you're actually using a real valve spring, but I'm using a check spring. I put the check spring in there. And um, so you put the valve locks in the retainer. And then this piece here has two sides. So one side's for disassembly, other side's for assembly. You put this on top of here. And I just, push down and boom we got locks installed all right so it's going to go on the flow bench and the bore size this is the bore and this is the bore they need to somewhat match it's not imperative that they match because well at least if you're just doing in-house stuff but as you can see here this is too small right it kind of shrouds the valve up this is a 330 but here is a 3800 that Four size for a Subaru is 3750, and we're pretty much good to go. This is an interchangeable fixture, so you can put different bore sizes in it. And now the 3800's in there, we put the head on, we're good to go. All right, so what we got going on here is the head's clamped down. This fixture opens up both valves at the same time. And this dial, we open up the valve from here and we're gonna flow it every 50 thousandths of an inch from 100 lift to 450 lift. All right, what you got going on here is an orifice. The orifice makes it so the air can go inside of here very, very nicely. Uh, Uncle Johnny also explained it. I'll let you do that, but so you can see here, the air is not gonna hit this. It's gonna hit this sharp edge and it's not gonna be very nice. Well, it's gonna hit all these trenches too, but it's gonna hit this and it'll nice and flow inside. So we get a, actually a better flow number than we normally would. do this without a mic uh, one thing we notice is, is that around 350 lift around uh, eight around nine millimeter I think it is um, I'm not really good with my metrics obviously so the air goes turbulent and it makes a certain noise when it goes turbulent and I just wanted to, you guys to listen to it it's gonna sound very very choppy <laughs> All right, we decided that we weren't going to do the flow testing against the stock head because, well, we've already done it. We did uh, one with Uncle Johnny, and I'm going to let him take it away. We're going to just put our footage from that back in this video. I hope nobody minds, and we'll be back to this. All right, you uh, boys and girls. So here you go. These are, uh, we're going to flow the exhaust first. And we're gonna flow it every 50 thousandths of an inch up to 450 thousandths. Where did I get that number from? Cause the biggest cam you can get for this thing is 453. Y'all putting big ass cams and valves just to get that 500 number cause that's where everybody paying attention. Don't look for that crap here. 
All right, so this thing opens and closes the valves. And this holds it and this, this measures and this measures and all that. And then I move these knobs and magic happens. So you're ready for the big show. Now we're gonna fold the exhaust first. Things can hit your eye. Sand, like you're in the beach, metal. You only have two of them, let's protect them. Let's go. And you gotta make sure you have your pen. Thank you, Norris. Make sure you have your pen and all that stuff ready to go. And make sure you close the damn things here, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. Alright, so in all these videos, I'm trying to explain that the orifice is important for flowing the intake side because like this candle here, right? This candle, if it would go on this side without the orifice, it go ah la la la, la it would hurt the candle, right? But on this side, it would just go right in there and it's all happy and stuff instead of like bah! right so like this is why we use it here we go we're gonna float in tight all right so just because there wasn't a big loss in CFM, it doesn't mean that there wasn't losses other, other places in the cylinder head. And that's originally why the head came here. It actually wasn't for the porting. It was because the guy couldn't get any power out of the head. And we know now that's because of the valve job. The valve job wasn't done correctly. It wasn't done to the oversized valve. And obviously that's gonna be a problem. The way you do some small things is pretty much the way you're gonna do everything. And that's what you see here. You went to the wrong guy. The guy ported it, he's a Neanderthal, and he didn't valve job it, he just stuck valves in. I guess he thought that he'd just lap them in, they'd be okay, and send it down the road. And then you have a problem. That's it for me today. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.